There's little man. Apex! Apex! What are you doing? Come here! Some kisses? My good boy. Oh, look at you. You're getting big, don't you? Mm -hmm. Jay-Z, come here. Come here. Come on. Come up. See, he gets odd. Well, he knows the camera's out. He don't want to be on there. Mmm. Getting so big. Anyway, um, after the bearing mishap yesterday, I figured I'll just let that go. Parts are ordered. Just ordered my other cookie seat, covers for both seats, seat belts for both seats, um, and all like the seating stuff. I still need to get hardware to mount them to the floor and then the seats to the brackets, brackets to the other brackets, but we'll get those locally. Um, so that should, all the seat stuff should be here next week, which I'm super excited for. That'll give me uh, stuff to do while I'm, hopefully they get here earlier in the week before like the bearing and the tool I need for the, uh, whatchamacallit, shaft, shafts get here. So yeah, there's just so much going on. I still got stuff to do with the hatch. I got to, hopefully it's warm out this weekend. I can take the trans out and get it painted. So many things. But then I'm going to throw the turbo studs on. Throw the turbo on, the coolant lines, and oil lines um, on it. There's, I still got one fitting that's stuck in the block. I don't know how we're going to address that. So We'll get these studs on first and then try and yank this stupid freaking... I think I, I'm pretty sure I got a replacement. That's why I bought those lines. So We'll get that out of there. Get this on. Call it a day. Uh, I think... Tomorrow is Friday, so I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'd like to get the, the water pump on and maybe even the fuel rail for the um, direct injectors. Let's get as much as I can done. I can get the throttle bearing put into the trans, pull the trans out of the corner. Um, so many things. I don't have enough room. I need to get a cherry picker again. So many things. You guys can see them. I'm a little bit stressed, but... We're making it work. All right, let's go work on the car. So here we got new turbo line because I crushed it when I was pulling the motor. I let the engine down. I wasn't paying attention to the back and this hit the firewall. This is the all new stuff for the turbo. Um, I got extra hardware for putting the studs on in case I stripped some and I got some spares. There's a gasket in there for the turbo in the head. A bunch of O-rings for oil and coolant that I hopefully don't need. These should have new seals on them. And then there's the uh, little ring there that goes in the turbo. I'll have to pull the old one out. I'll show you guys. It's like a turbo downpipe gasket kind of, but not really. Whatever. It's all there. Let's do it. So if you didn't see the last uh, video, definitely check it out. You can see where I broke this bearing in two. As literally right after I said I should replace these, and if my balance shafts get messed up, rubbing out the 8200 RPM, it's, this is probably why these bearings failing. And then I literally, I picked up the thing, and then it snapped in half. Like, I called it. It was so crazy. Super weird, but I ain't even mad about it. I literally called it out, and it broke. Two seconds later, and I was like, well, I said it. Keeps myself, I guess, or that was the car gods giving me a heads up like hey don't be a freaking dummy you know there's 80,000 miles and you drip the piss out of this thing you should definitely replace it um i was also told i should have just replaced my injectors instead of getting them cleaned but i have faith in those um just the carbon build up over time i feel like is what makes them fail if they do fail and uh found the clean so boom all right, so this is pretty simple and a pretty simple, it's just all, it's all simple. Basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna put two nuts on, a stud, and then tighten it up. And that's what gets the studs in. I should've just brought the same thing closer. Basically we're gonna slap two nuts on there real quick. And the second nut will lock onto the first nut. Like so, so you got one on, stick the other on, and then this, Front one will force the whole stud to turn into the motor. So, we'll give it a couple of uber doobas. And take it off. Pretty simple. 
Only bad thing about it is these things, these guys strip out really easily doing this. So that's why I said I got a bunch extra. So hopefully it'll last uh, for all of them. They're kind of soft. Shouldn't use them more than once. Anyway, that's all you do. So before I pull the turbo out the box, just wanted to show you guys here with the gasket up against the head here. How good that port looks. Mm, 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 mm. It's gonna be nice. All right, so already found the boo-boo. The, so this is like the coolant setup on the back of the turbo. This goes to the turbo. These two go to the block and then this goes, like ties into the like after pump system, I believe is what that's for. But, so I wanted to order a new one because you can see right here, this is all like mangled and that thing in there. That's what's still stuck in the block. Well, too many things in my head. That nipple right there is the one, that's what attached it to. I want to get a whole new one because I, I still got to get that out. I don't want that in there. It's rough. But I ordered this, thinking that like in the box it looked about the same because of the, the head. That's like, oh, okay, yeah, and it splits off. I didn't realize it split off. Well, actually, no, wait. Am I dumb? Okay. Well, I am really dumb. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's been a long week. I can just unclamp this hose, stick it on this one. I was thinking this was like, what was I even thinking? But that is crusty. Good thing I got some uh, spare seals. So we'll, we'll definitely clean that up. Uh, swap this hose over. Good, well that, but you can see this, this end, I guess it's revised or something, but this end's plastic now. Um, or like I said on this one, it's that metal one that's stuck in there. That might be why. So like, yeah, that's rough. Anyway, so I'll get to pulling this out, switching this over. I gotta find the right O-ring for this. That is crusty. Gross. I've been battling with the damn coolant line for probably 30 minutes. Finally getting it out. I had to like twist it a bunch and do all this other shit. I left it in there because I couldn't get it off prior, obviously taking the machine shop. I meant to ask the machine shop to take it out for me. Totally forgot. That's why you gotta write things down, but finally, holy crap. Look at this freaking thing. Of course, nothing's gonna wanna focus. Look at that thing. Jesus. That O-ring looks so bad. This thing's going right in the damn trash. Now I'll show you what the new one looks like. One from this ugly thing to this less ugly, but hopefully won't fail. Um, it looks like they both got uh, balls in them for whatever. So hopefully this fits. I'm gonna clean out that hole and then uh, try and slide this baby in. Then we can once I confirm this fits. Um, Already got the other hole good with the other one. Got found a new O-ring for it. Uh, and we'll, yeah, we'll just set the turbo one. Nice. All right, so we got the two coolant lines in. I need to tighten this one down still. Um, and also got the fitting for the oil return. I got this, in, uh, just search that on, where's she at here, boom. Search that on eBay, you'll find it. If it's a stock turbo, if it's CTS turbos, if it's EQT turbos, works for all. So you got this adapter, and this goes right to the line, and you got uh, an adapter, this bolts to the turbo, goes to that, you got your washer in there, boom, boom, boom. So you put that in. Um, and I think this goes in, yeah, this goes directly into the turbo, and I think goes to here, where there's a fitting that's plastic, and they're known to break. I'm pretty sure it's this. 99% sure. Uh, but I ordered like a billet one. So once that comes, I'll show you guys and tell you all about it. But slap this turbo on. I got one of my spare uh, nuts for those studs there. Um, I got, dang, I'm gonna have to replace this. Um, this over in two. And then this oil line's coming off. And that's the top. So we're going in like this. Yep. Set this baby on there. Mm. 
Another one. Oh, see, that goes down there. Perfect. I wasn't sure what went in this one port down here, so. Well, there's that. Starting to look more and more like a motor every day, huh? Dang! Right. Let me uh, get down dirty and connect this to... Oh, uh, this doesn't have that little bracket on the side of it. That is a big difference, huh? Hopefully this doesn't leak or anything. It looks to be about the same. This one has like this additional bracket that goes on the side uh, right there to hold it. But I didn't even have a bolt in, <laughs> in there last time because it was so hard to try and get in up against the firewall I couldn't do it so hopefully this threads into that and I just won't have that I don't think it's a big deal um, yeah figured I'd show you guys my little process here so got a o-ring I need to replace come inside the dogs jump around like crazy usually oh I got them all sitting out over here because I was Doing them earlier. Well, I got bags inside of bags here, so I'll throw that there. Sit here. Oh, hi. Find one that looks similar. Maybe. Oh, nope, definitely this one. Then a spot. Boom. Go and put them back. All types of stuff in here. Clutch hardware. Got that bottom cover, thermostat in here. Still a ton of hardware and all types of stuff. All right, so we got this line on. I took off the uh, oil drain, replaced that seal. It's kind of a bitch to get to, especially since I already had like uh, the coolant lines connected, but got that done. Everything in here is nice and squared away. Uh, tight just need to put the oil line on this is connected. This is solid Obviously the oil line goes to that this guy's tight um, Now I'm gonna do the oil line here, and then uh, We'll throw the proper nuts on there. Oh And then we got to take out See like this ugly looking ring thing around the turbo. That's that gasket. I was telling you guys about so we got to replace that too so I've never done this before, uh, but it's already kind of broken down here. So I'm figuring I can just kind of, it's kind of like soft material. I have no idea what it's made out of. Should probably put some gloves on. It's very light. Whatever it is. Weird. get it all out as one piece or not. Damn, this thing's seen some better days. Jeez Louise. Um, I'm no expert, but this shit looks like it can give you cancer. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is made out of. Woo! Weird. Ugh, I don't want that on my hand. I don't know. It's not like metal or anything, so I don't really care about any of the little flakes. Plus, it's the exhaust, so it's not really going to suck it in. Um, I really can't tell what kind of... It just seems like aluminum foil almost, but it's not. Both sides seem identical. I doubt it's just going to slide right in, though. Oh, it almost just broke right there. Huh. Oh, there we go. Something not sharp. Sure, the down pipe will push it right into its place, but some of these spots it sticks out a little far. 
and uh, this lip here is where the downpipe kind of sits on so you want to have some room I can't wait to mount the downpipe up to the turbo while it's sitting on here it's gonna look so good especially with the new valve cover oh boy I'm gonna have to go back over turbo in some spots clean as I wipe more dirt onto it but you get the drift and now for my final trick of the day here I'll go ahead and throw this oil line on right before my camera dies about to head out to the gym this is perfect timing um, that's gonna go I'm not gonna tighten it down right now where's that sleeve? I have like a little shitty sleeve on here for no real reason I guess but maybe I'll go get some real uh, insulated stuff here. I think the original line had it. So I like chopped it and stuck it on here as best I could. And then like up here somewhere I remember. It's not like rubbing up against the firewall crazy or anything, but get this end. And she's on. Looking good. I'm very happy with today. I gotta tighten these down still, but uh Hell yeah, brother. That was that. We got 16, a 14, and these are 13, I think. So we're back here next day. Just got the turbo since down, nice and torqued. Everything about this thing is torqued down. It's good. I uh, got a new cap for this, new cap for this. Make it look pretty while well sitting here. Um, what else did I do? Did some other stuff. I forget. Cleaned a little bit. I. What did I do? Oh, I pulled out the fuel rail for the direct injectors, the high pressure fuel pump. I need to clean these up a little bit. Um, if I get to the thermostat today, which I should, should be, it's like almost the next thing. Once the thermostat's on, I'm gonna put the fuel rail on. Um, that's about all I got right now. Um, maybe, like I said, work my way back to like the after pump thing and the stuff that sits on the side here. I don't remember. I should have room for it. Pretty sure I did. Anyway, we'll just we'll just kind of go with the flow today. See how much I feel like getting done. Kind of tired. Hit the gym pretty hard yesterday. And it's Friday. I want to try and drink some beer, but let's get her done. Oh, so I got like the little manifold things uh, sitting here in some E85 that I need to get rid of. It's old. Letting that soak a little bit. It's kind of coming off with my nail. Yeah, so I got a brush. I'll sit here and brush these off, make these look real nice. Throw those in the, uh, in the head. Well, that took forever, but uh, cleaned up, good to go. I'm gonna lift up this uh, stuff here and slip them on down in there. One more thing out of my box, one more thing on the motor. Makes me happy. Nothing special to these, they really only go in. I mean, you can get them upside down, but they won't look right. I believe should be like that, but. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, definitely the other way. I guess that's all the further they go. I don't remember. Hmm. I feel dumb right now because it doesn't look right. Does that seem right? Oh no, it goes the other way. I'm dumb. <laughs> it just still go further down let me inspect idiot alert it wasn't upside down so like this I think see one way I won't go down the whole way you flip it and boom there you go it should be a flush with the pins out that go into the uh, manifold this is like the opposite of what I think it is every time boom there we go done well, 
Hopefully that was enough for one video. Uh, I went through with a bunch of wipes, cleaned up the fuel rail. Let me grab it. Cleaned up the fuel rail, real nice, nice and shiny. Got 99% of the dirt off of it at least. Um, I'm just looking at how this was positioned in place. That's good. Now, next up I got, I'm gonna switch over to thermo. I'm gonna clean up all these hoses and this, that, and a third. I gotta like take this water part of pump and put like a face of it on the other one, I don't know. I gotta figure it out. But that's gonna be the next video. So I'm gonna end this one here. Tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up the downpipe and the valve cover. So freaking excited. Um, like I said, if you aren't following the Instagram, follow it, BR32YCE. Um, same on Twitter, I believe, too. Uh, I don't really do nothing there. Don't worry about that. What was I getting at? No, oh, that's it. Whatever. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. Watch out for the next one. And I'll catch you on the flip flop.